सो एज आई टोल यू दट आसनास डूइंग रेग्युलर आसनास यू कैन कीप युअर सेल्फ हेल्दी सो डू रेग्युलर आसनास एज आई टोल यू दट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टंट वाइल यू आर डूइंग आसनास दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इनहेलिंग एंड एक्सहेलिंग द फर्स्ट पॉइंट एंड सेकेंड पॉइंट hold that position as much as you can do as per your capacity like dhanurasana dhanurasana stretch your hands okay and try to catch your feet thumb of your feet end of your feet okay that moment take your breath okay and while you are releasing the position leave your breath leave your breath see like this okay first take your breath वेल यू आर डूइंग भुजंग आसना ओके लाइक दैट वी कैन डू द सूर्य नमस्कार आसा वेरी वेल ओके सूर्य नमस्कार दैट इज द वेरी बेस्ट एक्सरसाइज ओके वॉच इट how i am doing surya namaskar that is very important ha huh? why is you are doing first pranam yourself okay so this is the first portion the pranam and then bend yourself as you can do so there is the second portion bend yourself as you can do third portion come down and touch come down and touch to the surface that moment your knees don't fold your knees don't do like this okay fourth portion like this part of your surya namaskaras this is the fourth portion ha huh? fourth and fourth portion and change your leg change your leg like this okay whenever you are changing your leg that moment change your leg okay yeah and then come down and take a one bend stretch on your hands okay and try come up ah ama surya namaskaras this is the first portion as you are doing surya namaskaras surya namaskaras first portion first portion you need to do like this and second portion go down as you can do third portion touch your surface fourth portion come down like this and if you want to change your leg like this you can change okay and then vajrasana okay bend yourself one time come up okay like this you can do like this विसार काल विसार काल सूर्य नमस्कार सूर्य नमस्कार द फर्स्ट पोजिशन 
pranam to the towards the sun taking position stand towards the sun okay jahan sun hote hain suraj uski taraf aap mukh laga ke khade ho jayenge see towards the sun and pranam the sun first position you can do the pranam first position like this also as as you can as per your comfort and then second down yourself as you can do okay and bend down touch touch the surface without without bending of your knees this is the fourth position okay fourth position you can change the legs also doesn't mean okay then come down one bend stretches you can do the vajrasana also one time okay this is the first position you are doing like this first position okay first position and second as you can do bend yourself as you can do bend yourself and come down try to touch the surface take this position okay while you are taking this position you can change the leg you can change the leg also okay you can change the leg and then come down one bend stretches come to the bhujangas that is what dhandrasan sorry vajrasan okay why vajrasan that moment now i want to i want to stand up i want to stand up so that if i take the vajrasana that will that will give support to me to stand up myself so like this i can stand up okay. so these are all called surya namaskaras surya namaskaras they will give a lot of energy to our body because in the surya namaskaras we can do a lot of uh, flexibility we can do a lot of flexibility we can move our body in different positions in different postures okay that is very important and we can do the squats like our so squats is the best exercise to keep yourself up to date squats squats are best exercises okay do the squats squats these are very best exercises while you are doing exercise squats okay while you are doing squats this is the proper position okay this is the proper position and try to stand up squats are the best exercise okay. squats are Squats are best exercises. Try to try to touch the surface proper. Okay. Squats. Squats. While you are doing squats. Squats are the best exercises while you are doing. Rotate your hands while you are rotating your hands. Try to touch your ears with your arms. Okay. Rotating your hands backward side and front side. rotating your hands towards back side and front side this is very important huh? these are some relief exercises at the time of whenever you are doing strong exercises so relieve to relieve your hands the pain whatever the muscle pain you are getting okay 
to relieve the muscle pain okay rotate the rotate the legs okay rotate the legs right side left side left to right right to left right to left left to right okay rotate the hands right to left left to these are as i told you that these are what some relief relief exercises relief because whenever you have done some what uh exercises that moments the somewhat pressure may be on your muscles so to get relief from the pains you can do like this okay these are what simple okay very simple after exercises we need to do some what smooth exercises so that the muscles will get some what relief okay change your leg change your leg proper okay after completion of some more difficult exercises that moment to get relief from the pains okay we want to give some more relief to the muscles so to get relief from the muscle pain okay do this type of hand movements leg movements okay and neck movements neck movements also what is it neck movement hand movements okay because surya namaskaras i have done some more bend stretches or 25 bend stretches i have done so that moment there may be some what stress pressure over your muscles to get relief from the muscles you can do this type of smooth exercises while you are rotating your hands back and front try to touch your ears and this is also one relief exercise hand movements okay this is movement okay so in today's class i tried to explain some more asanas one is that uh, bhujangasana this is the vajrasana dhanurasana and surya namaskaras some more uh, smooth exercises relief exercises to really get relief from your muscles so these asanas and yoga that is very important for our humans to keep ourselves health okay to keep yourself fit very important to do the all exercises so what i am feeling that i want to teach all yoga asanas daily okay so all of you can watch and practice yourself you can have any doubt you can dial to my number 9110398650 okay and that moment nowadays everybody is suffering with lot of lifestyle diseases so lifestyle diseases they are called diabetes hypertension bp blood pressure and indigestion sdd okay indigestion and gas sdd so like there so many diseases are there they are called lifestyle diseases lifestyle disease means how we are living okay in our life how we are living so that's why as per your lifestyle as per your food whatever you are consuming the food so accordingly you are you are being affected by so many diseases as i told you that diabetes that is simply called as sugar okay diabetes type 1 type 2 and uh, hypertension low bp low pressure high bp hypertension hypotension okay and sdd that is the very important nowadays everybody is getting gas sdd indigestion so these are the lifestyle disease 
so we can get rid of all this disease by doing regular exercise and asanas because every day we are consuming lot of calories okay in form of carbohydrates proteins fats minerals vitamins fiber okay but minerals vitamins fiber they will not do any harm to your body if you take them for a long cycle long time but if we consume carbohydrates and proteins fats for a long time and uh, without any balancing and means you are taking more quantity for a uh, long time carbohydrates and proteins fats if you are consuming them more for a long time uh, more quantity so ultimately what happens it will give it will give it will harm to the body if you consume carbohydrates for a prolonged period there is a chance of hypertension and sugar diabetes because what happen you know the body it has a system to consume the calories whatever you are getting the calories energy from the food that is to be consumed by the body within some time so if you are not doing any exercises so that calories given by your carbohydrates proteins fats they will be deposited in the body as a fat that is called glycogen fat okay by the liver some what 500 g will be stored in liver and then after there is no any place in liver that will be deposited in, in our muscles chest okay and stomach that is stomach buttocks and neck so the body there is no any there is no any way to the body to excrete that energy whatever it excretes it excretes in the form of uh, urine and uh, stool whatever early money then after whatever the energy is there that is to be if you are not consumed if you are not consuming that energy it is to be stored in your body as a fat that is called glycogen fat okay either by carbohydrates carbohydrates will be converted into glucose uh proteins will be converted into amino acids fats will be converted into fatty acids okay fatty acids so 1 gram carbohydrates gives 1 gram carbohydrates give 4 calories 1 gram proteins will give 4 calories 1 gram fat will give 9 calories to the body means whenever you consume all these fats proteins carbohydrates so they will give energy to the body that energy whatever we are getting from these um, carbohydrates uh, proteins fats they need to be they need to be digested after the digestion they will give somewhat calories to the body 1 gram carbohydrates will give 4 calories 1 gram proteins will give 4 calories 1 gram fat will give 9 calories so whenever you consume the food so that is to be after digestion it is to be utilized by the body it, it is to be used by the body how how that can be used by the body if you do any exercises if if you do any work okay daily task daily routine works the work is uh, classified into three categories okay idle work idle work means that man is not doing any work he is enjoying the lifestyle id id okay he is doing he is not doing any exercise he is uh, uh, spending the time most of the time id okay not doing any exercise second lifestyle is that he is doing moderate works medium works some people are that they are doing heavy works so accordingly your work style you need energy okay if you 